it is that time where we talk about what our writing goals are for the upcoming year. Hello my friends and welcome to my writing realm where I am working hard to improve my skills as a writer and self-published author and sharing with you what I learn along the way. I joined AuthorTube in the year of 2020. In fact, I joined YouTube in the year of 2020 without any idea as to what the heck I was doing. I went on YouTube with the idea that I was going to share what I was writing and hopefully find some readers and boy, I had no idea what it was all about until a friend of mine said, hey, why don't you just join AuthorTube? So I joined AuthorTube and it took me a long time to figure out how AuthorTube worked. If you've seen any of my earlier videos, wow, well I used to use silly filters so that I could hide my face and hide who I really was because I was nervous as hell. And then I would tell jokes or sing ridiculous songs about writing. And honestly, it's embarrassing. I had actually changed all of those videos to private. And then one day when I saw all of these shorts becoming a thing, I decided to republish them as public. And so they are there if you're brave enough to check them out. Now, as I transitioned into, you know, a comfort zone, I became more myself. I tried things like announcing the author tuber of the month, gifting a free copy of one of my ebooks. Uh, I tried doing little skits where I was myself and the person on the filter. I talked about self publishing and gave away any kind of writing tips or technical tips that I knew, but I still felt less than confident. Then to be honest, I completely lost all confidence in my writing ability at the end of 2021. So this leads me to what my goals are for 2022. I want to be a better writer. I want to write and publish very good quality stories, better quality than what I have. The stories that I have out there and published right now I have lost my confidence in. I'm not going to unpublish them because I feel like starting over from ground zero is very intimidating. I use them as stepping stones, these short story eBooks as stepping stones to learn the editing and the publishing process as well as some cover design stuff. But now it's time to make some changes. My biggest goal for 2022 is to improve my skills as a writer and as a self-published author and as a YouTuber. And anything that I learn along the way, I want to share it with you and with my new viewers as they come along. And as I educate myself and share my new education with you, maybe it will spark some great conversation in the comments on the YouTube videos. And maybe you can share with me information as I share information with you. And together we can become better skilled writers. My next goal, which I guess is going to happen around the same time as I start my self-education, is I really need to get to formatting. I really need to get to formatting my living undiagnosed story for ebook and print book. I need to hire a cover designer and get that baby published. I have been working on it for years. Now, once that's all said and done, and once and while I'm still improving my skills as a writer, I need to work on building and improving my high fantasy world. And then I would like to actually release one or two short stories or novella size in that world, in that high fantasy world. Now I have written a couple of short stories in this world during NaNoWriMo 2021, but I'm still disappointed by it. I think I started out strong and then I just went downhill. So part of improving myself as a writer is to also read more because that is going to feed my abilities. So I'm going to read more. Now, 2021, I'm embarrassed to admit that I only completed reading one full novel. Now I know what you're thinking, just one book. Give me a break. Well, I also read some other, you know, educational books um, and also some books by Dale L. Roberts. And 
I just feel like I did do, oh yes, and I also did some peer editing. So I was reading other things. It's just, I only actually read for enjoyment one novel. I'm also going to continue building on this Fiverr gig because I'm surprised at how much I really enjoy doing the peer editing and stuff. Uh, I can't take on a full novel. Now I have for my close writing friends, but when it comes to the public, I'm not going to be accepting any long form writing or long content writing because I just don't have the time to commit to that. Now, one thing I actually started to do today, which is December 28th, is I actually started to use one of my low content books that I designed under the author name of Elena Greystone. So I'm gonna show this to you. I'm pretty sure I've shown you before, but for those of you who haven't seen it, it is the Video Content Creators Notebook. Now, the purpose behind this was to not only test out low content book publishing, but to also offer another way you could plan your videos easily without having to stare at the computer screen. So it basically has lined pages and it has sections for certain things. This includes the video title, the recording date, the recording location, the upload platform or channel, uh, the release date, the equipment list for your recording, the upload description notes so you can plan in advance, your upload keywords, and then of course your key talking points in the video. So I've tried this out today and I actually really like it. The only thing that I might change in another version of this book is just making the key talking point section a bit more because there's more than we talk about then. But again, my thought was I made it like two thirds or three quarters of a page long because I use bullet points um, with just notes uh, to reference rather than actually writing out word for word what I need to say in the videos. So I'm going to continue using this book. I used it today and I really enjoyed it. It gets me away from the computer screen for a bit. Um, and then of course, because of all these changes that I'm making with myself as a writer and my YouTube video, I also need to release a new intro video. The one that I have now is not accurate as to what my plans are going forward. Now in terms of what I'm going to provide on my YouTube channel, live streams for me in the last year have been challenging for myself health-wise. Um, it is very mentally draining and visually draining. I have light sensitivity and I have seizures and overstimulation is not good for me. So when I've got two monitors up, I've got one screen with the video that's being recorded and the chats that I have to keep up on. I have on the right screen a timer that I also sh screen share. And then I also have my writing for what I'm working on. So the live stream writing sprints are very difficult for me. Now I was doing it to support my viewers and my subscribers and I'm not saying I'm never going to do it again. But for now, I'm going to hold back on doing it for a while and I might occasionally try to do it if my health is doing well, <laughs> basically. Now, I also record a podcast and the podcast episodes get released on the YouTube channel. I am still on the fence about whether or not I'm going to continue with it. I can no longer afford to pay the platform to upload the videos and sometimes it doesn't work anyways. Um, I do enjoy doing the podcast episodes because it is easier for me. So I'm really curious into your opinion if I should keep doing those or if it even matters or if I could, if I should keep doing them but separate them on a different channel. Now I'm not trying to add more to my workload and that's why a part of me thinks I need to cut it out completely and just focus on YouTube. But I did put a lot of time, effort, and planning into that podcast. So I feel like if I just pull back and quit completely that I'm kind of giving up and I don't like giving up on things. So other than that, my videos are gonna be focused around what I learn and how I advance myself as a writer and as a self-published author, things I learn along the way, where I'm at with my projects, um, and I'm hoping to spark some conversation with different writing topics. Now, I know that a lot of other channels are probably already doing this or have already done this, 
but this is where I'm at with my writing business or my writing career, however you want to call it a hobby. Um, I guess it's currently a hobby level, <laughs> but this is where I'm at and that's what the future holds. So I'm hoping that you'll come along this journey with me as I advance my knowledge and skills as a writer and self-published author. And I hope you're willing to be open enough with me to share what you've learned about these specific topics that I bring up in the videos. And hey, maybe we can learn from each other. So thanks for joining me today. Have a great rest of your day, afternoon, evening, night, or whatever, and keep on writing.